We got little Callie here. We're working on her uh, place. Come on, Callie. Place. And I'm pairing it. She's got good obedience with this stuff, so I'm actually pairing it with e collar stimulation. Not a ton. She's working for more. Like, this is her evening meal, or her evening kibble. So I turn this on at a pretty low number, like eight, with the comfort pads on. And then for her to turn it off, she, well, she'll hear the command and for her to turn it off if she's complying. So I put this on. If you see it away from my body, it means the stim is on. So this is still part of conditioning her. Nope. So watch how I do it now. This is not with the come command. Well, actually, this will be. Huh. Yes. And when I say yes, it gets turned off. As soon as she's on that mat, I turn it off, and I, but I'm waiting for her to lay down. I don't need to keep stimming her when she's getting on it. Sit. Yes. So it's low enough that she's feeling it, but it's not too concerning. Place. Yes. You know, she's hearing the little click sound of the button, and she's also seeing my hand go up and down. So when I'm not working with you guys, uh, with you guys watching, it's usually in my pocket, because I don't want her or behind my back. I don't want her to hear it or necessarily see it. Place. Yes. So that just showed you that physical cues really tempt a dog. And I, she's well trained with some of these commands. So she gets it. So I know she's feeling it. I'm going to go down to like a sit. That's good. Good girl. Couple more of those. Sit. Sit. Yes. So I rolled up on to a 13 on there. I said sit, good. And this up. And as she was um, looking at me, I walked into her to give her a little, um, I guess that's, you call it spatial pressure. So let's go back down. I know she feels it. Place. Yes. I don't need to do this too much more. I just want you guys to see a different way to condition a dog to e-collar. Um, I want, it, I want her to learn to avoid it. Right now, she's learning to escape it. If you don't know what that means, look up escape avoidance in training or in psychology. It's part of operant conditioning. Yes! That's what we did the other day. She knows when she feels it to come. I rolled up to a 15 on that, and you saw her, you saw her turn around. Let's go back to the 8s. Place. Yes! Good. She's doing well. So she's learning to escape this e collar stimulation, and eventually she'll learn to avoid it altogether. Meaning, you go, Kelly. Meaning, I will say the word, right now I'm saying I'm putting the e collar stim on. She's getting this sensation. Then she's wondering, what the heck, how do I, how do I turn this off? So I say the command, which she already knows. She knows the command. And she complies, and the button goes off, and I say yes, and she gets food. So that's the escape part of it. She's learning how to turn it off. Soon, very soon with her, I'll just be saying the command, and if she doesn't comply right away, then she'll get either a tap or a continuous, depending on what's happening. So that way she learns how to avoid it all, always. So as humans, we need to be really consistent with say the command once, Give her like two to three seconds. If she's not responding, add e-collar stimulation. So you want her to be able to avoid it at all costs. So if, if I say come five times and then use the button this time, and then the next time I say come two times and then use the button, and then the next time I say come one time and then use the button, if I'm all over the place, there's no pattern that she can figure out. Dogs are smart. 
So right now we're doing escape. How do I escape this? And very quickly we're going to go to avoidance. So she's going to learn how to avoid it altogether by complying within a second or two. So that's a little tidbit on that part, escape avoidance. Kelly, place. Good. And technically I leave the dog here to hang out for a while, but I actually want her to hang out more in the kennel because she's not so psyched in the kennel, especially when I leave the house. So I want her to get on the treadmill for a little bit and then when I leave, I'll put her in the kennel. Or when I, exactly, when I leave, I'll put her in the kennel. So I'm gonna put her on the treadmill now. We'll let you see that. And then we'll have her there for maybe 10 or 15 minutes. And then I'll practice actually leaving. Kelly, let's go. Good girl. Come on. Good boy. Good girl. So I clip her to, come here. She doesn't really like to be pulled by the collars. This I know. So I clip her to the flat collar on this, and I stay in the room when the dogs are on the treadmill. It's a little tricky to leave to go to my desk because dogs don't like it when I go behind them. It makes them nervous right now, but if I stay in front of her, it works out all right. And she gets cheese. Cheese on the treadmill. Good. Good. Good girl. So I'm going to leave her here for a few minutes, maybe 10 minutes, and then give her some kennel time while I pretend I leave the house. Hope you guys are having a good day. Bye.